My name is Max Singer. I was one of the founders of Hudson Institute, but now I live in Israel and work only part of the year here at Hudson. Uh, as an Israeli, as well as an American, uh, I have, of course, a keen interest in the Israeli election, which I just missed. Uh, it was a very dramatic election, like most of those have been, and uh, now Israel is on engaged in a, a long process of building a government. Uh, the, the, the party that won the most votes was Tzipi Livni's Kadima party, which had been the governing party before the election. But she won only one more vote than uh, the Likud, the traditional uh, opposition party. Uh, and altogether, the very big shift from the previous Knesset, which is the name of the legislature, uh, the big shift is uh, toward uh, uh, the right, toward parties which uh, rejected uh, the Oslo process and uh, opposed the disengagement from Gaza as an uh, operational mistake at the time. It is not, as some people have claimed, a victory for those who believe in no compromise or reject a Palestinian state, uh, the great majority of Israelis are ready for compromise whenever there's a Palestinian uh, willingness to, to compromise and to accept Israel. And the great majority of Israelis, including most of those in the winning coalition, uh, are prepared to uh, uh, give up much of the territory uh, that Israel has controlled since 1967. Uh, but uh, the election represents a rejection of the particular negotiating strategy, the particular way of pursuing peace, not pursuing peace, but the way it has been pursued uh, by, it turns out, 65 to 45. That is, there are uh, uh, 65 members of the Knesset elected from what is called the right, and about 45 uh, from those who supported the previous approaches. Uh, so that's a, a strong majority, uh, but it's divided among four or five different parties, especially uh, uh, the strong ones are, the, the main one is the Likud, led by Bibi Netanyahu, who is almost certain to become the prime minister, the leader of the coalition. Another major party is, is uh, uh, run by a man named Lieberman, who had previously been the chief of staff for BB many years ago, and most of whose constituents are uh, immigrants from Russia. Uh, then there's a major, two major religious parties, Shas and United Torah Judaism, and a couple of smaller ideological parties on the right. Uh, together they represent 67 seats. Uh, uh, Bibi Netanyahu has said that uh, he plans to become prime minister, expects to become prime minister. He wants to have a broad national coalition and will try to bring into it all the major parties. I think it's generally thought that he will not succeed in getting Kadima, the former ruling party, or Labor, the main party on the left, into the national coalition. And so he will end up probably uh, with a coalition representing the 65 votes uh, that I mentioned. So what we have now, and we'll have for probably at least a month, and maybe as much as three months, is negotiations among these parties on the terms of the coalition, which includes typically who gets the major cabinet offices and what the uh, platform, if you will, of, or basic policy agreement of the government. These negotiations will go on and until probably at the last minute there's an agreement and a new government will be formed. So we have a period of, of waiting for of about a month or two before all the details are settled, but the major outcome seems clear.